Hey guys, welcome back to Space Medic. In this video, we are going to be reviewing the P-72 Archimedes. Before we get into that, please remember to subscribe to the channel, click that bell for notifications, and please let me know how I did by either liking or disliking this video. Please also comment down below, it really helps me get this video out to other people. We are a small but fast growing channel, so every interaction helps a lot. The Archimedes is available in game for 150,000 UEC, and that is available at Astro Armada on Area 18. To quote Star Citizen Tools, the Kruger P-72 Archimedes is a luxury snub fighter designed to pair with the RSI Constellation Phoenix. It requires an extra intake and a lighter haul compared to its P-52 Merlin sibling. The Archimedes delivers exceptional handling and performance in a sleek package. The P-72 is a racing ship, although it does pack a punch with four guns, two on each wing. It's a snub size, which means it's not going to come with a quantum drive, so if you guys are wanting to get from planet to planet with this, you're going to want to look somewhere else. It can't do it. Although, CIG did say, when asked, are there plans for a transport module of some kind to allow long-distance transport of these snub ships by the large ships in the game? CIG said, absolutely. While we're still working things out in terms of ship transit, we definitely want Subcraft to have a meaningful presence throughout the universe. From carrying on a ship like the Constellation, or setting up a ship like a Crucible, Starliner, and 8 any Jump to serve as a race team transport, we want to make sure you can bring your ships to the activities you find the most compelling. The P-72 does come with one size 1 power plant, two size 1 coolers, and one size 1 shield generator. For the propulsion and thrusters, it does come with the S-Fuel intake, and it comes with the S-Fuel tank. Again, there are no quantum drive tanks to worry about here because there is no quantum drive. What makes the P-72 unique is that S-Fuel intake. This air intake is going to allow the P-72 to recharge its boost mid-flight. This is in contrast to its Merlin sibling that does not have this feature. And in terms of weaponry, it comes with four size 1 laser cannons from bearing. It also is probably important to note that it doesn't come with any missiles of any kind. While you can pick this up for the 150,000 UEC as discussed earlier, you can also buy this in the pledge shop for $35 standalone but this is only available during time-limited sales. Of course, it's probably important to note for those that aren't aware, because this is a snub fighter, it's not going to have anything like a bed or any other amenity that's going to make it useful for a daily driver. This really is just a ship that's fun to fly around and be fast and race other players. The guns that are attached does make it somewhat competent, but there are definitely better options out there. But with that being said, if you're wanting something quick and nimble, the P-72 Archimedes fits that very well. If you're between this and the Merlin, definitely get this instead, because the Merlin, well, it doesn't have that air intake, and the P-72 looks very nice with the luxury stylings. It was also purpose-built for performance because of the lighter haul materials and additional power plant intake. And that'll do it for this video, you guys. Please let me know what you thought of this video in the comments below. Please don't forget to subscribe and like the video. And if you want to chat with me, please check out the Discord in the description below. You can connect with me and some other players. So far, we're having some really good question and answers in there. And some good just discussion overall on the game. I did want to give a quick shout out to everyone that's already joined. And if anyone in the community is wanting to get in on a giveaway, there is a pin post in the Discord that is there to see what everyone in the community would like to see be given away. So far, a game package is winning, so if you would like that, if you would like something else, please let me know in the Discord. Once we get some good engagement, some good feedback on that, we'll get this giveaway rolling. I would love to be able to get this to you guys before Christmas or on Christmas as a present, so let me know what you guys would like. Until next time, peace.